So today we're going to be doing a little install of the track system on a Ranger 619. Now the beauty of a track system is being able to slide in accessories. You can slide in rod holders, rod trees, down riggers, all sorts of accessories, even cup holders. Um, they even make grills to go in these tracks. So today we're going to be doing the install on a glass boat. It differs from an aluminum boat because you can't through bolt it. In most situations like this, you're going to leg bolt it to this glass boat, but you have to take some precautions before you do that. So we're going to show you exactly how to do that on this boat. So what you're going to need to do this type of install is some painter's tape. What we're going to do is we're going to tape the track down to the railing, the gunnel, and make sure that we have it in the right position where we want it. Then we're going to mark each hole with a small drill bed, a really small one, just like we would with a punch and a, and a piece of metal. And then after that, we will drill it with a slightly bigger drill bit. This is an 11 64th drill bit. After you get the 11 64th inch holes in the boat, you're going to chamfer the edges with a chamfer bit. This is going to widen the top of that hole out a little bit so that the fiberglass doesn't crack, uh, chip, or anything like that, and it'll make it nice and clean when we get done with this whole project. That will be what we do uh, to put the screws in. Before we put the screws in, we run a bead of 5200 marine adhesive in each hole on the screws and then in between them on the so that the rail sits on this 5200 adhesive. This is really good stuff. And uh, so that's what you're gonna need to do this sort of install. So let's get started. So these are the original rails for my boat. And with that, there's holes already in my gunnel. So I wanna cover those up. I wanted my track to come back just a little bit farther, but I won't be covering up my holes and I wanna protect those holes and hide them too so they're not visual, visible. So the plan is I'm gonna take this first rail, send it on the gunnel here, put it where I like it, and then after that, take my measurements from this side and transfer it to the other side so I can match them exactly. Now what we've done is we've taken a small drill bit and made pilot holes. And the reason to do that is so that you make sure you're in the very dead center of that hole. If you're not in that dead center, when you put in that tapered screw, it's gonna pull it to one side and you go to the next one and it's gonna be off. So you wanna make sure that it goes exactly in the center of each one of these holes and keep checking it. Drill one, check the whole rail. Drill one, check the whole rail. Make sure it hasn't moved because that tape will move just a little bit. Once you get them all done, peel off the tape and you're ready to drill the big holes. Now what you wanna do when you're drilling these bigger holes is you gotta make sure that these are perfectly vertical or perpendicular to the glass. If these are off just a little bit, either way, you're gonna have problems with the whole screw walking the, the track over and that screw not sitting flush to the track. So you wanna make sure, hold that thing vertical, uh, perpendicular to this, and make sure you're not off at all. Make sure you do all of them exactly the same way.
going to start each individual bolt in all the holes before I tighten down any of them. And I'll probably start in the middle, tightening them down, then work my way to the outside edges. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to snug them, get them close, help center each screw in each hole. Um, going into glass, the screws are very tight. There's a lot of drag friction. So I got a wrench for some extra leverage just to make it a little easier. You could use an impact gun if you're very confident in that. I just want to be real gentle with it. Now that I got them all snug, now I'm just putting the final touches of tightening them completely down. You don't want to go too hard on that. You want them tight. And there's a fine line between tight and then cracking the glass. So you just want to get her nice and tight and let the glue do its work and really hold the, the track down nice and tight. They're all looking very good, nice and flush. Now I'm just going to wipe up the excess glue, take my measurements, transfer it over to the other side. There's not really a whole lot of spots to measure off of to get an exact thing, but I'm assuming these were made from the factory in a mold, so they're probably quite precise. So this is where I'm going to measure from, which ended up being 24 and 3 16 to the back of my tracks. So we're going to transfer that over to the other side. So on the front of the boat, we're going to mount 24 inch track. And by doing so, we're able to put multiple things up here. We can either run bottom bouncers up here, maybe even a rod holder or hand lining reels. But we always want a little bit of track up here in front. The consideration you have to make on all manufacturers is where you have things underneath this gunnel. On this boat, we have filler caps right here. So we know that there's at least a filler neck that's going down to a fuel tank somewhere. We've got to figure out where that is so that we don't drill through it. So either that goes straight down in or runs up the boat and then runs down in. We got to make sure that we don't drill through those. We've already contacted the manufacturer so we know where those are. So now it's just a matter of finding something that's factory on the boat that we can measure from. Now the other side is void of anything that we have to worry about. It has no fuel tank or anything underneath of it so we can just put it wherever we want. So we want to start on this side and then transfer our measurements over to that side. So what I found is with the, the molding of the boat, there's two little indentations here and I'm measuring off of that. It looks like about an inch and three quarters is what I like that centers us in between those two. Well, that's all there is to it. It's really quite simple. Just make sure you measure twice and drill holes once.